Hey everybody, it's Jen at Ink Paper Rubber. Um, if you saw my Periscope yesterday or in the newsletter last week, you will recall that uh, today is our monthly Learn at Lunch. You can stop by anytime between 12 and 2 p.m. and have a chance to play with the fun Nouveau Drops that we got in last week. Um, and I just thought that I would take a minute and show you all just a few things that I have learned about them so that if you're not able to make it by for Learn at Lunch today, at least you can find out a little bit of what we are going to be doing. I will also mention that I am planning on this Saturday for our demo to work with the uh, Nouveau Drops as well as um, the Nouveau Embellishment Mousse. I have some of that coming tomorrow along with more of the Nouveau Drops. In addition to showing some techniques for both of those, I will also be comparing the Nouveau Drops to some other products that you may already have that seem similar um, and see if you can achieve the same results with them, including uh, stickles, which obviously is glitter glue, and also uh, diamond glaze. But let me go ahead and just show you a few things with the Nouveau Drops. I am going to be working on my nonstick craft sheet for this demo. You can work directly on your project depending on what you're doing. If you're just doing drops, then you can do those directly on your project. But if you're doing other things, um, you will need to work on uh, a nonstick craft sheet and then take them off and add them onto your project. And I will just show you here how easy they are to get off of here. These are some that I did yesterday. And um, I am just going to go in. This is one of the um, Nouveau Jewel Drops, which is translucent. And I'm just going to kind of bend that up and lift that right off of there. And now it's ready for me to attach onto my project. Just so you know, you can do it on wax paper. I tried that, and that does work just fine. Let me first just show you the basics with the Nouveau Drops and how you do them if you want to make... Um, just little uh, dots or embellishments to use on your project. The easiest way to do it is to just hold your bottle straight up and down and these and I'm not touching my bottle to the craft mat I'm holding it up above and letting it come out and then I'm just lifting straight up and you can see that that makes a wonderful nice round drop right there for you. The top of it automatically self levels and domes so that's really as easy as it is to make drops. Let me just show you a couple of fun things that you can do with it with making drops. I made these yesterday. I made these eyeballs and that is super easy to do. I am going to use the gloss white and the gloss black Nouveau and I am going to make my dot just like I showed you there with the other one, I'm going to hold it right above my craft mat and squeeze until I get it to the size that I want. Let's go ahead and make two. My last two were a little close together. They ended up running together. I didn't really mind that. That's all right. All right, now to add the eyeball part of it with my black. And I am going to hold this just above the surface of my white drop. I'm not going to, let me see if I can get my hand here away that you can see it a little bit easier. I'm not actually going to touch it. I'm just going to squeeze and let that drop fall out of there and right onto there. And that's all there is to making eyeballs. Um, some other fun things that you can do with it. Let me pull this one off that I did yesterday and show it to you. This is kind of a little multicolored braid where I did two colors together. And to do that one, I'm just going to come in and let's go right over here. Do drop, drop, let's do a little bit bigger drops. Drop, drop, drop. Then I'm going to come in with my second color and I'm going to just drop that right in between my first drops. Then I'm going to come in, I am going to use a toothpick. You could probably um, use a straight pin or your pokey tool. 
and I am just going to drag down through the center of that and that pulls down let me see if I can get down here and show you a little bit closer what that looks like and when that dries you're gonna have something like that um, another thing that I want to show you probably of all the uh, drops that we got in the most popular was the jewel drops which are transparent um, when they dry you can even tell it when you put them down and again here is one of the jewel drops that instead of being really opaque it's a little bit transparent but you can make your own colored um, transparent drops using the morning dew which dries um, clear and using your water-based dye inks I'm going to just use distress ink and to do that I'm just gonna smush a little bit of ink right on my craft mat and I am just going to then come in and drop my drops right on that now when they start the morning dew when it starts is a little bit cloudy just like a lot of your clear adhesives but when they dry um, it becomes translucent and here is an example of one of the drops that I created with some distress ink and just dropping um, my my Nuvo crystal drops right on top of it there's another one that I did that same way let me show you because I thought with the blue one thing that would be really fun would be to make raindrops and so let me show you how I did that and I discovered that trying to use the um, nozzle to make my shape really didn't work so what I did is I just went ahead and I made a drop just like normal and then you really need something fairly fine to pull it down so I found that my toothpick worked well and I just go and I just kinda drag that down and that gets lets me get a little bit of a finer tip on it than if I use the nozzle and let me get down here and show that to you there and here are a couple that I created previously that you can see the little raindrops so those are just a few fun things that you can do with these as I mentioned if you are um, out and about today over the lunch hour you might want to stop in and you'll have a chance to try some of these out for yourself hope you all have a great afternoon and we look forward to seeing you soon goodbye